Whew, that's a lot of work. There's got to be a better way. Dum dum dum. Here we are. We're calling this uh, the RE DIY Leaf Bagger Model 2. And here she is. I posted a video last year of this bagger, but did not have the top frame on it. So I just had, it, it came up and then it just sort of drooped in the middle. Uh, well, it puffed out of course when it's hooked up to the ride mower. But I have found that by framing out the top that really uh, decreases my chances of clogging the tube. Now I can't really hold many more leaves, especially these leaves are kind of wet. Uh, can't really hold many more. I mean, it's they weigh quite a bit, but I think I'm getting, I'd say easily, this is a 17 cubic foot trailer, and I'd say I'm easily getting 200 gallons uh, per load in this trailer. So um, today's video is going to be about, you know, the cleanup with this new model here. Um, and if all goes well, this is going to be the first video I've posted where I've kind of edited things together. So my next uh, clip here. I'm going to show you the the blowing. So as you, you can see in the beginning, I started blowing around here because, of course, when you're pulling a, this trailer, you know you kind of have to make wide turns. Uh, so I'll show, you, show you what else I did. So I also went around the shed here, and you know the bench. I guess I can move the bench. Flower beds, plum tree. The uh, the roots on that plum tree are. Kind of bumpy so i don't like driving over those just blew those leaves down of course there's a ton still to come down then i did the same thing around the house and down there around a the pool fence just give me some clearance so i can make the wide turns now this is not the final leaf cleanup this is uh halloween day uh right now i've already pulled three thousand gallons of leaves out of the yard if you look up the red oaks uh, actually the poplars still have a couple on um, but it's mostly the oaks the harder wood uh, that uh, still has quite a few leaves I mean look at that baby um, and then there's the big daddy here uh, this one this will not drop until after Thanksgiving so hopefully I get some video today of the bagger in action uh, the key here by the way is don't let them get too thick I've only got a 42 inch cub cadet um, I've got another video where I you know, put the new motor in. That really makes a difference. But you, you can't let them get too thick, or you'll you'll just be pushing them with the mower deck. That's or at least that, you know that's what happens. So this right here, this is probably a little too thick. But what I'll do is I'll make when I make my first pass, that'll blow some of these around just with the blowout uh, from under the deck, and that that should thin them out. And if it doesn't, then I just won't cut right through the center. I'll do like half and half. And um, I'm going to say today with everything we got here, this is probably another, it's probably 2,000 gallons of leaves. I, I might get, well, that'd be 10 carts full. Um, I'll probably get about six. Okay, here we are with the, uh, the old 42-inch Cup Cadet LT1018. Got my bagger tube on. Got my extension, my little DIY extension, my little bracket bungee. This is the bagger arm. I'm going to try to get down, or bracket, whatever, you, you know, that the regular bagger fits on. So what happens here, it's kind of hard to see. You got a, a pin that goes in, goes to the trailer, and then you got a pin that the trailer hooks to the bagger arm. So that pin, that's really hard to see, kept working its way out. Here we go. So I just put a nut and a little cotter pin to kind of lock it in, put a washer in there, and uh, that holds it on a lot better. Because I tell you, if that thing rides up, it just hooks. See how it hooks down over there? And you don't want that, you know, ride. Once that trailer gets heavy, that baby can, can ride up there. So you want to try to keep that thing you know, locked down the best you can. Uh, so that's another little improvement I made, made for this year. Um, that's about it. So we're going to get this baby out, get her off the battery tender, and uh, we're going to take her for a spin.
right, so here we are. Well, it's two hours later, but I did some hand cleaning and uh, brought some wood in and putzed around a little bit. But this gives you a good idea of the job it does. Um, I was wrong. It was not... Here's the hand rake and I did. Oh, look at the birds. Um, I was wrong. It was not six. It was a very full uh, four. So really probably five regular. So I was off by one. So I hand raked this. Here you can see all the way around. Um, it did pretty good. So it does leave uh, a little debris. And I, I tell you, I do that on purpose. Let me, uh, let me go show you why or, or what I do and then I'll tell you why. Okay, so here's the why. You do not want this chute to get clogged. It's a huge pain in the rear end to uh, clean out. Um, so I, I'll, I'll tell you just real quick for those who didn't see the previous video. Um, this is a little bit of a hack job, but I've got this metal 7-inch duct. Get a close-up there. 7-inch duct. Gorilla taped over my regular leaf bag or tube. And I tell you what I like about this versus a plastic flex hose is that I can hear the leaves hitting this. Hear that? So I know, number, typically know just by listening, even over the engine noise, that that tube's not clogged. Um, so then here's the other reason. Here's the reason I, I, I don't totally button down the tra uh, trailer. So here we are at the trailer. And the reason is because having a some leaves poke out there, maybe a little bit in the front, maybe a little bit in the side, um, lets me know that the tube's not clogged. So I can just turn around and look, or I can hear the tin uh, from the seven inch elbow and just know the tube isn't clogged. Um, so I'm gonna show you the, the inside here. I'm kind of doing this video in reverse order. There's a lot of videos says, hey, here I'm building this and that, and you know, and then they show you how it works. So you guys have already seen how it works. And so now, now you're gonna see how I built it. Okay, so I've got the tailgate off, and first thing, I work my way in. You see I had this spring clip. That's what this pocket's for here, for the spring clip. Spring clip closed on these flaps. So, you lift this up, and bear with me here, and you can see the inside. So, of course, I've got that weighted down, and then I've, I've got it such that, that this wood here pinched, it just pinched, the tarps pinched between it fits down in here between the tailgate and this wood um and then you can see i've got the frame built inside and this is all just scrap wood you know um most of this is the scrap from redoing the deck um yeah so so i had this this opening was a little bigger than it should have so i put a little weight here this one um was fine but you know i could i could button that down as well but again i like having a little indicator that um the tube's not clogged and the tube sort of angles back this way so that's why this one was spitting out quite a few leaves and i i buttoned that one down but i left this one open so you can see that's kind of the frame the way the frames attached to the uh card it, i just drilled a couple of holes it's kind of an older card you know so Oh, that screw's about to back out. I better tighten that baby down. Um, I did some mods uh, earlier uh, this fall. Um, so anyway, so as far as wrapping it around the tube, it's pretty straightforward. You know, I've got, you, know, you just kind of have to work it out. You know, I've got it clipped here. I've got a couple of weights here. Then I've got a spring clip here and an overall bungee cord. And you can see the tube just kind of fits in this hole. And then as I you know go around you can see how you know the tube moves relative to the, the cart but the cart you know goes along with it and that's you know that's kind of the method i've got the rake holder here on the side just a piece of pvc and another board um i've tried using the dump feature of this but let me tell you something when you let go of that that babe that thing uh it's heavy right um and then you know you get to where you can't pull the cart 
forward i mean you can't but then you're just digging into into the ground with this so I, I don't even mess with that i just rake rake it out and typically when i unload it the leaves are up to here in the back and then it kind of tapers off um actually it almost follows the the contour there of the the rake holder on the other side that that's about how how it ends up so you know on average it's it's a solid two feet deep and this is four foot wide and i think the cart's two and a half feet wide uh maybe not not quite so um it's a lot of leaves in that baby um so okay so this will be my first edited uh video with a bunch of clips put together and um you know so if you have any questions just put it you know post it in the in the comments and uh you know wish me luck on getting this thing edited i'm, I'm really looking forward to it. try to up the quality of my videos here so as always hope you guys enjoyed watching and i uh, hope you know this helped and gave you kind of an idea on maybe how to save yourself 1500 bucks and instead of buying a cyclone or a dr just kind of you know make do with what you've got